Hi, this is Chris Zaznowski from BW Control Systems Integration coming to you with a short YouTube video just on the difference between the iPad 2 and the iPad 3 speed. We're using the speedtest.net app, which is a pretty simple app, and you can see I actually already have the results in there, but I'm actually going to run the results, run the test again. Now, this is running Verizon's 3G service, again, the iPad 2 Verizon, and it's going to measure the download speed. Now you can see I've got four out of five bars on there. There's actually a Verizon tower across the street from our building. We're inside of a concrete brick and block building. But you can see the different speeds here. Download um, landed at 2.31 megabits per second with the ping time of 74 milliseconds. And there's your upload at 0.76. Now we're going to do the exact same test on the uh, Verizon iPad 3 running LTE. So you can see there in the upper right hand, left hand corner it says LTE. Now notice the Wi-Fi cards are off on these so we're not testing um, anything else. So you can see the previous results there. We're going to run the test really quick. Oh I just clicked on an ad. Isn't that lovely? So we'll let the ad, there you go. Here, begin test. You can watch the difference between 3G and 4G when in good coverage. Whoa man! Well, I don't know if 4G is going to stay that good, um, but there are your results. Ping time is less than half the time, so your latency is about twice as good. Download speed is 21.31 megabits per second. Upload 16.79, and again, comparing 2.31, so we're talking about almost 10 times the speed on the download and more than 10 times, 10 to 20 times the speed for upload. This has been Chris Zaznowski with BMW Controls. Thank you.